Well, we are here. Hello, or expert. Yeah, today we're going to be playing some PvP with the girl Valenti of the Christmas variety. Now, a lot of people hate on this unit for a fair reason. She's pretty fucking useless. But, me personally, I don't know if this is quote unquote copium or not, but I don't think she's useless. And they're, they're, here's why, here's why, right? I guess, her passive doesn't work against Escanor. And nine times out of 10, there's gonna be an Escanor in literally every match we play. But, she has a disable attack, which cucks Escanor completely. And she has a freeze at rank two, which cucks Escanor completely. So to be honest, it's not the bad worst thing ever, man. It's not the worst thing ever. So, yeah. We're going to be running Valenti today with an Arthur Escanor team with Liz in the back. Now, this team, I don't really have a, a real reason why I'm running it. It's more or less, I want her to be support cuck, disabling attacks, freezing units. I need Arthur for stalling purposes. I don't have a Holy Relic, so that's why he has Tommy a link. And then Escanor is going to be my DPS. And then you're going to have to get through Arthur to do that. And then Liz in the back for healing. A little extra heal. So, yeah, let's see if this works or not. Be sure to like and subscribe when we roll the 400 subs. Help me. Help me, please. All right, bro. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Looks like we're going against a goddess team. Oh, Arthur. Or, or Bond team. Okay. I'll go first, so this is fine. We're obviously going to go for the the homie, Eskinor. We didn't get a Valenti start, so... If we don't get a Valenti start, that's basically saying, like, yeah, we're just gonna full send with, like, fodder cards for the first turn. Because as a Sith right now, he has no way to counter my Valenti. I can freeze his Arthur when he stances, and I can attack disable both, or all of them, and they just won't do anything. Uh, okay. I can rush ult. Either, mm -hmm. No, because I want to stance, and I don't think his rank one last two turns does it. Nope. Okay, so I have to stance next turn as well. Does he have Tarmio Link on him? If he's ult rushing his pawn, that might be a problem. Which it looks like he's doing that. Ah, uh, damn, that's very unfortunate to be honest. Can he kill me? Yeah, he probably can. He definitely saved his Eskimo card, so if he can nine times out of ten kill. Okay. The Arthur counter is kind of cucking me. So let's just do this. Mmm. Let's just waste this card for now. Arthur ultimate's useless, so it's fine. And he can't get his ultimate unless he attacks. And if he attacks Arthur, well, he loses ult gauge. So it's fine for now. I have a freeze. What's the plan here? He's just gonna move for Bono. All right, that's cool. Actually, that's kind of annoying. Does Bon wipe even though I don't have buffs? It's possible. Uh, let's try this. We want to merge? Freeze him? Actually, damn. If I freeze, the fucking Escanor will just counter that. That's actually kind of toxic. All right, let's just stomp, stance up and then just. Did he turn me link? He is, all right, let's just do this, move that, <clears throat> cause I'm pretty sure Eskimo survives either way. <laughs> I could have probably killed, but it's fine. This is gonna, oh, that fucking Tarmio Link helped him out dearly. And, uh, not the Tarmio Link, I'm tripping, the Bond buff. I don't think I died to this, but it's, you know, possible. This is a single target ultimate on Arthur that's probably gonna kill my Arthur, and if it doesn't, I'm pretty much fine. So he just decides, oh, he's ulting with him first. Fair. I don't think he kills though, I'm not buff. Yeah. That makes sense. And then Arthur may or may not kill my Arthur? He didn't. That's just tragic. And now, oh damn! I think that too. We got a little bit of healing in the back from Liz. Okay, this is gonna be annoying. He has another thing. All right, this is good. If we do this. We freeze. 
and then we get Valenti's ult because I don't want him to get unfrozen. Because if he taunts again, we're gonna have issues. Alright, Valenti, go, go to work. Go to work. 15k, I love this here. Like, her stats are pretty bad, so you're not gonna see any crazy damage from her. She is strictly a support character. Like, Green Valenti, Mark II, it kind of makes sense for her to be decent because she has, like, her passive that cater her bad stats. So she gets a shit ton of crit, and her, um, Holy Relic gives her a shit ton of crit chance and shit like that. But, outside of that, bro, like, it's kind of rough. He can kill my Eskimo, huh? Which is, if he kills, I'm pretty much safe, I think. Oh yeah, he's wiping. There's no way I survive if he has a high level, um, oh, he doesn't. Alright, I win. Cool. We're going to... Actually, what is this ult level? 1-6? Oh, yeah, we win. So we do this. We do this. And then that should kill, and then we attack Disable with um, Valenti. I could kill him again, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna die anyway since he's 1-6. Eskimer is going to wipe. Yes, sir. And then we get the Valenti, I guess. Unless he doesn't force it. Forfeit, please, please, I need my Valenti screen. Ah, shit. What the fuck? Red King in the back. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Halfing my pierce rate, I mean, sure. Ah, yes. I love Valenti. She's fucking adorable. And she's of age, so fuck off. <laughs> nah. But for real though, yeah, I mean, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's move on to the next match. Who we got this time? That's gonna go through Margaret. That's a problem. Margaret is definitely a problem that I don't want to deal with. Okay, I can go for the Margaret turn one then, because if with Margaret on the field, my you know my main unit is completely useless. Being Valenti, of course. I mean, <laughs> the main unit is Valenti, obviously. If I crit, I would have killed. That's a little annoying, but whatever. We, we move. Okay, I can freeze. And I have more taunts, so I'm sitting pretty right now. Unless you pull, like, some crazy level 3 single targets with, um, Escanor. Even still, Tarmio Link will just heal that. Is Tarmio Link still broken? I have no clue if it's still broken or not. Okay, level 4. Makes sense. Holy shit! Yeah, level three is kind of rough. <laughs> Unfortunate, really. Okay. Um, I guess we're going all in with um Valenti. I don't have anything else to do. Do this. We. I can't really. I don't want to freeze anyone here, to be honest. I gotta kill her. So I guess we do this. We do this. Do that, and hopefully Valenti can kill in these three cards on top of attack disabling us. Yeah, we're fine. Oh yeah, she's dead. She's dead. We, we kill, right, Valenti? Oh yeah, part of her freeze is that she loses like remaining HP, just dealt the damage. So yeah, we kill. That's fine. Wow. The attack disabled that is disabled no attacks. Alright, Gother. My bad, G. I didn't pull an Escanor card again? Oh well. That's an alt rush go through if I've ever seen one. Question becomes how do I get out of this situation? Cause I don't think I can. I can probably kill go through. I got AoE, but that's not gonna do be enough. It's just not it's off too. Yeah. The ult I won't be able to ult with that some time soon. Okay, this is some actually. Mmm. Nope, you got that old rush or rank up. I can't. I'm gonna go for the freeze on Escanor. I genuinely don't like what I'm looking at here. Like the Gother can steal my old gauge. I'm fine with that. I'm getting dissolved anyway, so. Fine. I wish I would have killed, but no. Nah. It is what it is. Oh, he has Tommy only going to Gother? Makes sense, to be honest, but at the same time, that's kind of cringe. Come on. Okay. 
All right, go third. L listen, bro. I need you to kill my Liz. That'd be great. To be fair, I can kill. Thanks to me freezing his Eskinor, and Eskinor has like 90% of his cards. If he kills my Liz somehow, and I just get a shit ton of Valency cards, I kind of win. Damn it. <laughs> He's not gonna kill. Alright, Melly, I need you to. Okay, you're going for the move. Fair. But you know, his... Valency's passive does work okay. towards Melly. So literally, his crits will hit just, just the same amount as his normal attacks, if not less than his actual normal attack. Okay, this is fine. We do this. We finger bang. Mm, I don't want to finger bang Eskinor, to be honest. Because I, I, I think this kills, and then the actual flood from this kills. And we can disable attacks again. Let's disable Melly's attacks. Because Liz built different, baby. <laughs> yes, this kills. Oh, everyone's dead, I guess. This wipes everyone. They survived? Oh, wait, he's 6'6". Six, six. That's cursed. Is he immune to debuffs in that phase? He is. That's a problem. I didn't know he was immune to debuffs during this. Are you serious? Okay. Well, one, he's 6'6", six, six, so I guess he just kind of wins now. Especially since he's been saving all of his cards. So, yeah, I think I'll just die here. Especially with a level 3 AoE. Yeah, I'm dead. There's no fucking way I win I lose with this. Yep. And the only way I win, I don't think I can actually at all. Unless I kill Gother with the Naoi. Oh yeah, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. If I kill Gother, then I practically win. Let's do the AoE. The single target's not gonna be enough. There we go. Beautiful. I think we just won now. We almost lost that because he's 6'6". That's crazy. I'm not mad at it. I enjoyed that fight. That was a good match. But goddamn, that man came out of the cut 6'6". Six, six. That hurt me. <laughs> Two rotations and only got a 4'6". That's some bullshit. Alright, bro. Let's get to the next match. Demon Team. Okay. Luckily for me, he goes second on top of... He can't do anything to Eskinar. I can also freeze. And attack disable. Beautiful. Alright, bet. I think we got the perfect Valenti start here. So we're gonna stance. Freeze the Chandler. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna stance. Freeze Chandler so he doesn't... Uh, fucking Christ, I did it again. Stance. AoE. And then freeze Chandler. <clears throat> That was solid damage. I am using Merlin as one, aren't I? I think I am. I will freeze him here, and the next time we can attack Disable, which is beautiful. His whole team will be useless. And we can attack Disable for two turns if we really wanted to. Which we might. Because we haven't seen that level 3 animation yet. Like, I don't care what nobody says, but Linty's good. Like, she's pretty fucking good. Like, use, being used like this, bro, Valenti is such a solid support for Escanor. Because we all get it. Escanor is a pure DPS unit, and he's selfish as shit. So he doesn't care about other units. But Valenti kind of helps him out. And cucks other Escanors at the same time. So I'm not mad at this at all. So we AoE. We attack the table. And then we go for the Chandler. So he doesn't counter. Fifty-seven K. That's pathetic. There we go. Get the man out of my face. And now he has no attacks. And next up, we have to go for the Esterosa. <laughs> he didn't pull any Zaljus cards. Esterosa got to go, and then we can a we can ult with Valenti into the Escanor single targets. Unless he has Tarmiel, we risked Assault Melee Ultimate. Okay, that's a little annoying. That wasn't my plan to deal with him. But since he did that, he's... Okay. He doesn't have Tarmiel Link on him. Is it, is it on? Nobody? Okay. I guess we gotta go for them then. We, we ult. 
And then this should kill somebody, just don't know who. That was good damage. 200k? With all the encroach or the darkness stack? I'm not mad at that. He tanked the shit out of that, holy fuck. I'll get him up out of here. His Esterosa is still attack disabled, so I ain't gotta worry about you. Because if you pull more than two Zelda's attacks, I'm kinda screwed. He pulled all Zelda's cards. Alright, my bad. He forced it. That's insane. Alright. <laughs> yes, the power of Valenti. Attack disables and freezes always prevail. Thanks, Summer Roman, for teaching us that dog shit meta. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Okay, we got another bond team. We can see right there. It's a uh, Arthur Holy Relic. So, Bond Escanor, Reinhardt Escanor, uh, with my assumptions, which is fine because you know, attacks are everything to these guys, and I have a way to counter that. Oh God, what the fuck? You're a pure attack. All right, and it's the one Escanor with Bond. Bond. I thought that was Arthur's Relic coloring. All right, whatever. To each their own. Um, uh, he forfeit. He saw that new Valenti and he got shook it. <laughs> bro, you're lying to me if you're telling me she's a shit unit, bro. Y'all are just smoking crack. Like, actually. Okay. Another the one. With the end. Alright. Give me that beautiful start. That's the okay start. Hmm. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure Tommy Link is going to be on your DN, correct? Roll Melly and Escanor. All right, he doesn't know what he's playing. Uh, honestly, just full send to the. I don't want to fuck with the end at this moment. Even though it's smarter to get rid of her first. Nah, Escanor is just an easier target, you know. That's are probably the worst of the three. Let me give me a little damage for everyone else. 18k, not too bad. Escanor's almost dead. I don't understand his team at all. No Valenti cards, unfortunate. Hmm. Why does he already have damage increase? Oh, because I did damage to him. Never mind. That's just the accumulation thing. I forgot about that. That's what it looks like. Interesting AoE start. This must be a bot. <laughs> because if you knew, he would attack. The thing was hard. Okay. Leave my boy alone. Um, I kind of wish I got a fucking, let's just get Eskinor's ult, fuck it, and call it a day, can't drain it, so, and we're not getting Valenti cards, so we might as well just call it here, that was a lot of damage, bro, <laughs> the ones who dead, got us losing in the back, relax, chief, we get it, you summoned for festival characters, <laughs> relax. But I'm pretty sure this is a bot. I'll check this turn coming up if my cards instantly get placed. I don't know. There was a little time right there. This might not be a bot. Bots don't take that long in their turn. Yes, please. Attack the Tarmio because that's just such a good idea. He really thought he must have killed. Alright, my bad, you. Well... I wish we luck with this one. We're gonna, oh, yeah, that's a little bit of delay. We're gonna do that, and then just do this twice. Because our stance is still going, and I don't need to use it. But I'm pretty sure they're dead here, so. Hasta la vista! My god. And they said Valenti saw. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. But dead ass, though, my honest opinion, whoever told you Valenti is trash is sped. Sorry, but it is what it is. Just because. She doesn't work against Eskinor, but she works against literally every other unit but him. And I get it, I do understand that he is literally prevalent in PvP, so he's on every other team. But dude, there's more to life than Eskinor, he's only a DPS unit. And on top of that, just because her passive doesn't work, doesn't mean her cards don't. She can still freeze Eskinor, she can still attack disable Eskinor, which makes him completely useless. So overall, Honestly, I would give this unit a solid 
7 out of 10. Just because her ultimate is not what I want it to be. Because you need the ultimate 6-6, six, six, otherwise it just kind of sucks. It's just that simple. Her damage isn't there either, but again, she's a support character. So in this instant, like, I'm not comparing her to Green Valenti or anything. Because Green Valenti is a DPS, and her DPS still kind of sucks to this day. Red Valenti, on the other hand, they built her as a support, and that's where her stats are catered to. She doesn't do damage, but she gets the job done. As long as she's not hitting for patience, it's fine by me. Either way, though, Liz came in clutch too, but I forgot she was healing in the back, so I was just kind of immortal at that point. Uh, it's a good time, bro. I'm not going to really reiterate, like, just speaking slang. I'm not going to reiterate it again. I'm just going to tell you, I like Valenti, and you can't stop me. So, yeah. Like and subscribe, people. Please. We're at the 400. I want to hit 400 by the end of the year. We're close. We're very, very close. So, please, help me. <laughs> that out of the way, though. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.